We're heading to PAX. Yokso Otakus, we are here today at PAX. Mm. PAX. What are we gonna check out today? Um, we're gonna check out Nintendo. Nintendo. Capcom. Capcom. Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy, well, Square. Yeah, Final Fantasy XIV. And a whole bunch more, actually. Yep. There's a whole lot of stuff in here. Tons of stuff. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. <laughs> We've never done this before. This is cool. Well, even replay. We got a question. Brave. What? Interesting Phantom Brave, do you guys want to... Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd love to. Uh, you guys get together or...? Yeah, yeah, we're together, but he could... Yeah, uh, here you go. <laughs> Have you played Phantom Brave before or...? Uh, I played the first one quite a while ago. Okay, yeah, that must have been quite a while ago. Did you play it on, like, PS2 or Wii? Or PC? Uh, PC, PC. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's the uh, it's a sequel, uh, but the only thing that's returning from the original game is the two main characters, mm -hmm. and they're on the adventure, and it's a pirate theme game this time. Oh. Uh, right now, where you are at is the uh, Skull Rock Island, the main hub of the game, where you can create new units, upgrade them, buy equipment. Okay. Uh, did you want to go to combat? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's press X and then go to uh, World Map. Let's go to this island right here. We're giving up the final slot. And I think you should go over these two maps. And uh, since you played the first one, I, I think you remember how to uh, summon units on the field? Uh, is it kind of like this guy? Uh, no, let me actually go over that with okay. you again. Um, so how you do it is like you have your ghost friends possess an object in the field to uh, to be summoned. Okay. And you mainly start out uh, with any combat with just Morona, uh, since she's the only human and she can speak with spirit. So press A. Okay. Let's go to confine. And you can put, you can have your allies possess these objects. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. You can do this on like enemy weapons, ally weapons, and you can do so much. I can do so one, two, three, go for it. Yeah, one more now. Okay, um, that's, uh, that's the most complicated part that people have since we're with, but um, rest should be relatively straightforward. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Okay. Player one and two are neck and neck on that. Okay. Wow, now we have some, uh, we have some East Coast. Okay. Already working into that HP one. Oh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> there we go. Wow, this is cool. I like the artwork. This is on the Switch. I wonder if it'll come out for PC. Yeah, it's on PC. I don't know. Oh, you can jump? Yeah. Player 2 takes a minute 27 seconds. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, that didn't work how I wanted it to. That's terrible. It was really close the whole time at 1 minute and 39. Wait, no. So much 
player three finishes up here will go ahead and set the game up for that as a normal demo. So you're welcome to give it a shot. Oh, there's ones there. Why didn't I see that one? I will let player three finish his round and then we will go ahead and give him their, their prize. And I personally am going to move over here to the trails through Daybreak 2 in the next competition we'll be doing, which is going to be the fishing competition. So may I please have the contestants for the fishing competition please take your place at the controller. Whoa. All of you are like fishing here. This is going to give you a quick explanation of the controls here. So, contestants, pay attention, this is how you play the game. Y'all do this up. Y'all do this up for everybody else that shows the Trails 2 Day Break 2 fishing demo. If you're a fan of the Trails series, it has been going on for its 20th anniversary, actually. And oh, that's not... Uh, great that has always been throughout the Tales series is the fishing mini game. So the fishing mini game took a break for Tales to Day Break 1, but it is back now for Tales to Day Break 2. The fishing mini game is now amazing. Just about every game in the series is a little bit different each time. This one probably is the most interactive. I certainly thought it was the most fun. And it's great because as you visit various places in the area, Calvary's Republic will be able to do lots of different fishing and get lots of different fish. Alright, it looks like the explanation is finishing up here. As Drew said, you will be catching five fish. The first person to catch the fifth fish, I was about to say fifth fish, wins. A really cool prize. We do have some consolation prizes here for everyone else. Somebody walks away a winner. Alrighty, it looks like the explanations are over. Can we take up the controller, the contestants? Alright, looks like everybody's there. Okay, I'm going to count to three. As soon as Okay, looks like all three are ready. On the count of three, go ahead and cast that line. One, two, three. All right. First fish is cast. First line is cast. Player two looks like they've they got the hang of it pretty well. Very nice. One. Uh, oh, both players two and three have already caught their first fish. Moving right along into hopefully a quick catch and catch, catch of the day. This is a good gathering out of water. This is the yeah. Trails Day Break 2. This is the fishing mini game 2. We've got two. Oh, we've got neck and neck here. We're taking a look at the fishing mini game here. Normally it's kind of a relaxing activity to do during the game, but we're trying to make it a little bit more exciting. We've got three. Oh, she dropped her, her staff. In addition to fishing, there are other mini games that are, that are new, actually, to game right Oh, okay. So they only last for so long. There's one-on-one -on -one basketball, but at the very end, there's a couple more mini games that are kind of special that you'll have to see in the <laughs> However, if you are interested in this game, I do recommend you pick up Tales to Day Break 1 first. We've got three, a player two. This game actually is a direct sequel to Tales to Day Break 1. It takes place a few months later. So definitely pick up Tales to Day Break 1. We actually just released it a couple months back in July. And we will be releasing this sometime next year. Oh, we got five. Player three, very nice. There we go. Uh, 
who did I have left? I don't think that it's gonna reach. Um, all right, we're gonna move on to the next round two of this competition. Those of you online, please go ahead and take your uh, place on the controls. Alright, the players are set up. Players, did you did you catch that explanation the first time or do you need to hear it again? Just check it again. Do you need the explanation again? Fancy setup, they had kind of a couple different things going on. They had this new player experience, which was kind of cool. I was trying to get Bree to do it. You get free copy of the starter edition of the game for going through it. We didn't really get to see a lot, and the line was actually one of the few lines you could go to. The other big thing that they had was a kind of a fight event that they had where you could do this kind of huge battle. And if you won, they had some really cool prizes for that as well. However, for the entirety of Saturday that we were there, we checked multiple times and it was just always capped, which meant we couldn't even get in the line. So that was kind of a little unfortunate, but we did get to check out the really cool merch booth, the uh, height computer that they have there that they're doing a giveaway for. And also we were able to see the photo display that they had, which was kind of this fun little tiki hut. Thing. Oh, do you want to look at the dog? Oh, secret labs. Yeah, I knew you were going to go there. You want fatter cat pillows? Yeah, I do. Okay, we can get two fatter cat pillows.
same sort of equipment and all the same equipment lists. So this next game that we're going to check out is called Reynatus and it is a upcoming game from NIS America and also Furyu which we're very familiar with on the channel. One thing that I found about this game that I had to kind of learn and what you're going to see here is that the combat's kind of separated into two different sections. One, you're going to have your character where he does like these dodges and kind of these like uh, perfect dodges that you'll get and the other side of it is the attack portion so they're separated in the way that the only way you can attack is if you have enough like energy to do so and you get that energy by doing those perfect dodges so the combat kind of keeps you on your feet as you're constantly trying to maneuver between the perfect dodging and the attacks it felt a little weird at first but by the time i was done playing the demo i was actually really into it i really loved it Thank you. 
Difficulty level is this, or is there difficulty so levels? It's just the standard right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> and so you'll fight a couple of these guys to get a, you know, a start of the understanding how the combat works. Yeah. And yeah. then at the end of this demo, there's a boss that you'll get to fight. Oh. Oops. I'm not able to get those that good. That's a cool mechanic though, I like it. I like that a lot. This is awesome. This play is really smooth too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just, it's part of it. It sucks. I think this is the boss. Yeah, you're about to fight okay. the boss, and that's the opportunity to kind of really try to understand those that switching between the dodging and the attack mode and practicing your dodging because his attacks are very slow and choreographed. <laughs> yeah. So it's a good way to test out that perfect dodge mechanic. Okay. And like kind of master the timing. Very cool. Mm. They don't have what? Merch for sale. Oh, yeah, like Bandai and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Square does. It's not Square, it's Final Fantasy XIV. Ah. <laughs> Slower, more choreographed, and then it's like I can't even dodge. Did I lose it? Okay, there we go. Oh god. Oh, I keep, okay, I see what I'm doing. When you're like this, this is dodge mode.
Okay. <laughs> That's cool. All right, you just beat the boss. So, did you start to understand like the flow? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that a lot better. That's yeah. awesome. That's great. So that's the end of our demo here. But um, I invite you to take our survey by scanning this QR code. Okay. Because uh, you will say you played Renatus and just answer a few questions. Okay. And once you do that, um, if you show the completed survey email to our staff who are just around the corner of the booth here at the prize counter, mm -hmm. they'll give you one of these items for free for having completed our survey. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for playing. Yeah, absolutely. 7K, we 70K. So cool.